Oh, this is a great question. I'd say the market for barrier films has really seen rapid growth over the past few years, mainly due to the increased demand for flexible packaging. This growth is due in large part to changing needs of the consumer. For example, many food products are now moving towards portable packaging, like flexible pouches and tubes, as compared to more rigid containers. This move from rigid to flexible packaging has really been viewed as a value sell for the end consumer from a convenience standpoint. Another positive consequence of this shift, though, can oftentimes result in a reduction in plastics consumption, since the flexible packaging itself tends to use far less plastic versus rigid packaging alternatives. Another point to make here, and another market factor that has resulted in growth in this space, is the rise of e-commerce, where food is now being delivered fresh to our doors on a daily basis. In order for us to maintain the quality of the ship food product, plastics packaging has played a pivotal role here, including flexible packaging and barrier films. These materials are, now, are not only used to physically protect the product, but also to control the atmosphere inside the package to prevent premature food spoilage. These are just some of the factors that have given rise to rapid growth of not only barrier films, but the overall flexible packaging market.